the wrist. Ah! He has it. He has it. Oh God! Oh God! That was such a bad idea. Oh my God! No, no, no. Put down the freaking weapon, Alex. Cause I don't need a ratchet uh -huh. But keep a stick on me In case we bout that action Jump on this two, two, three, We getting all this cash What's up guys, welcome back to my channel, hope you're having a beautiful day today. Guys, I'm so sorry I haven't posted in so long. I've been so busy trying to make an escape from these stupid clowns that have now made a freaking comeback. Guys, the clowns are back and they're bigger, badder than ever before. We didn't hear from them for a while, but now that's all we're being bombarded with. We're getting threats from all over the place. They're calling us, texting us, sending us emails, sending us letters. They're even faxing us, guys. And not to mention hitting us up on Instagram and even Facebook. Who the hell uses Facebook? It's 2021. Guys, these clowns have been harassing us for the past like week now, and I don't know how to get them to freaking stop i've tried talking to them nicely i've even tried playing their games with them hoping that maybe if i play along so they'll just leave us alone because they're like satisfied that we like played with them you know but no nothing is freaking working and it's really frustrating me right now to the point where i just want to destroy all freaking clowns the good ones the bad ones the police officers the nurses the clown army everybody screw all of them i do not want to see any freaking clowns walking this earth anymore they're just too much guys they ask for too much they're so entitled for some odd reason they just seem to think that they can do whatever the hell they want and they're not gonna have any consequences well i'm here to tell them if any clowns are watching this right now watch out because we're on to you and we're gonna take you out believe me we're gonna take you out don't you worry about that and like how i was just saying guys these clowns think they can get away with whatever they want you know like they they think they can just live life freely and do whatever one of those clowns being inferno the clown he's been previously featured on this channel i believe and i don't know if you guys remember this but his thing is literally to set things on fire he's called inferno the clown for a reason inferno literally means like big fire and the thing with him is he's always getting caught because he's so freaking stupid so he's always in jail and whenever he breaks out he tries to like attack people but he's so stupid that he leaves on the freaking clown prison outfits you know like the big orange jumpsuits that they wear he literally leaves that on like how stupid can you be at least change your clothes or something so people don't recognize that you're coming from a freaking prison but no he's that freaking stupid guys that he would literally leave on this jumpsuit to the point now where it's actually like his outfit like that's his uniform now or something because every single time i've seen him he's literally been wearing that same freaking outfit but the reason why i'm bringing him up right now is because he recently escaped clown prison and as prime capital members we got notified about it and surprise surprise guys guys inferno the clown has sent us a freaking cryptic message claiming that he's gonna burn down stromedy's house and i don't know if you guys know this but stromedy's house is literally worth 2.2 million million 2.2 million if inferno the clown comes to this house and burns this house down mr stromedy is not gonna be a very happy person i think that might just trigger him to turn evil and just destroy everything in sight because to be honest i would too that's a lot of freaking money guys alongside all of our crazy stuff that we have inside the house the message that inferno sent us was very very weird if you guys have seen inferno before you would know he's a very weird person with that being said his note literally said how toasty do you like your house i don't know about you guys but me personally i do not prefer my house toasty whatsoever if anything just leave my house alone don't look at it don't touch it don't do anything guys that message could only mean one freaking thing how toasty do you like your house he's basically asking how burnt do you want the house to be i literally responded with zero percent because obviously i don't want this house to freaking burn down guys come on i haven't dealt with clowns in a little bit so i'm gonna get alex to help me out a bit today just because i'm a little rusty clearly if you guys watched my last video you would know i was not able to rescue andres in time and even dealing with that clown that we dealt with was very difficult because this clown was so messed up so weird and uh just uh, just leave me alone that clown was so freaking weird guys we literally shot that clown for no freaking reason keanu did it I, i'm just gonna give it up now keanu did it i didn't do any of the shooting keanu shot the clown so that's on him don't blame me but guys that was in my last video make sure you go check that out before you start watching this video so everything makes sense to you also guys before i forget shout out to this person right here if you guys want to shout out in my next video make sure to comment down below hashtag ubebe and i might choose your comment next who knows also guys thank you so much for the love and support i love you guys so much if you're new here make sure to leave a big thumbs up comment down below letting me know that you're new so i can personally welcome you to the family guys let's get right into the video all right guys so i'm just getting to the house right now and they seem very very odd in the air here i'm not gonna lie to you it's very gloomy and just doesn't feel right you know like this you know sometimes you just have the feeling in your stomach and you just know things are not right it's it's one of the, those those it's one of those um so, so i as i was just telling you guys i'm just making my way here right now and um there's something on the stairs that i've never ever seen in my life what the hell is this what the hell is that there's something inside of it, but what could that be? A, a pencil? I don't know what the hell. 
If you guys have any guesses to what could be inside this briefcase, please comment it down below so we have some guesses before we actually open it. Because guys, we're actually gonna open this thing and figure out what the hell is inside of here. This is so weird though. What the hell? So it's a very odd thing to leave in front of somebody's house, you know? Like I don't remember the last time I even saw a briefcase. Who the hell uses a briefcase? Maybe, maybe lawyers and that's about it. Like I don't I don't know who the hell else we use a freaking briefcase. Let me just put this down here. I don't feel like I should be shaking it around. Here, let me go. Yo, Alex. Yo, yo, yo. yo what's what? What's what is what is this? It's the news. What do you mean? You haven't seen? Oh, I, I, no, I haven't seen the news today. Bro, I just the segment got... just finished. It was literally breaking news. Bro. Headlines. Wait, what? What happened? I'm not gonna believe this. You're not gonna believe this. What? Inferno just broke out of prison. Yeah, yeah, yeah! I know Inferno just broke out of prison. He sent me a message, bro. Wait, he sent you a message? Bro, he literally sent me a message saying, "How toasty do you like your house?" How toasty do you like your house? Which means oh, only one thing, you know? God, bro, they literally just aired the news that he escaped from freaking clown prison, and now you're telling me that he's asking us how toasty we like our house? Bro, I had no clue what the hell to reply to him, so I literally said zero percent, hoping he puts it at zero percent. Yeah, yeah, as if that's gonna work, bro. He's gonna come burn in the house. I don't think he's actually capable of actually burning down anything, you know? Like, yeah, he's caught a couple cases for burning stuff down, but not a house. Maybe a little tree, a little garbage here and there. Nothing, nothing crazy. Not a house. Not, especially not a house like this, bro. What do you mean, bro? Every single time he escapes prison, he comes to this house and he tries burning it down, bro. You don't remember all the other times? I do remember all the other times, bro. But like you said, he's tried. He's tried to do this. He hasn't actually burn anything down. The worst he's done is like, was just like strike a lighter, bro. That's it. Nothing crazy. Then what? We're just gonna sit here and wait for him to try to burn our house Oh, no, down? no, 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 no. We're not gonna sit here and wait like idiots, bro. We need to prepare for this just in case he gets lucky and he's actually able to like get here and burn us down. But bro, the thing is, I was doing some research of where this clown prison is actually located and it's like five hours away. So I don't see him getting here anytime soon. Oh, you know, I mean bro by the time the news got to it. It has to have been hours after so it's probably been more than five hours since he's escaped I didn't think of that actually. I literally didn't think of that bro Do you think he oh my god he could have broken out yesterday bro, or the day before down. or a week ago? Yeah, and when did he send you that message bro? Ah uh, this morning? This morning, bro. It's at least five hours since this morning. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is past, past five hours since this morning, bro. But do you think he actually cares about us that much to come only to here to get busted again? Bro, we're the reason he went to prison. Obviously, bro, you know what happens, right? They come and they get their revenge every time. Ah, who said that the prison last time, bro? It was Keanu. It's always freaking Keanu. Oh, it's, Keanu. it's always Keanu. But you, I forgot to tell you something. What? I forgot. Oh, come, 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 So, I, as I was walking into this house, there was something at the front door. Wait, what do you mean there was something at the front door? You know there's usually like, they leave like a little, like, 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 like a little joke or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Wait. That's what they left. Yeah, that doesn't look familiar to me at all. At all, bro. I've never seen a freaking briefcase like that ever. I've, I, when's the last time you remember seeing a briefcase, bro? Who the hell uses briefcases? I don't know, bro. Only really shady people use briefcases. You know? Wait, hold on. What is there always inside briefcases in every movie? Ah! Uh, Giant pile of money! Money, money, money! Oh, Come bro. on, bro! But here's the thing, uh, I kind of shook it a little bit, and um... It sounds like a pencil in here, I'm not gonna lie, like... Yo, I mean... Bro. It doesn't sound like... It doesn't sound like money. Maybe it's like 15 credit cards. Oh! Oh! Yeah, I'm telling you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Open, this open thing. this up. Open it up. Open it up. Does it have a like a combination or like? Oh, shut any... up. What, bro? It's locked. Wait, it's literally locked. So we can't even open it? Oh god, and we need six numbers for the combo. Are you freaking kidding me, bro? These clowns are so stupid. Ha! Uh, let's try one, two, three, four, five, six. That's six numbers. That's simple enough for a freaking clown, right? Four, five, six. <coughs> Nothing, bro. Nothing? Okay, wait, what else could it be? What else could it be, bro? Something simple that they wouldn't forget. Maybe one, 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 one. Ah, you really think so? They're gonna bro, put millions of dollars. They're stupid, they're stupid. One, 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 one. No, nothing, bro. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Go back to the message that Inferno sent you this morning. Mm -hmm. Are you sure that he didn't send you any numbers or anything? Any numbers? Uh, Inferno here. Uh, how to see you like your house? Zero percent. Uh, he sent XO, 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 XO. 
That's just hugs and kisses, Th bro. That's what I thought too, right? Wait, wait, wait a second, wait a second. But there were six O's. Six O's? What, you think it's zero six times? I mean, there's also six X's, we think it's ten? Well, I mean, you can't- No, no, you can't do ten, bro. Yeah, he said it's XO, 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 X. I thought he was just sending bare hugs and kisses, but maybe it has something to do with this? I mean, dude, we tried one, 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 one. We may as well try zero, zero, zero. Exactly, zero, exactly, zero, exactly. Right? Hold on, hold on. Let's see this. If they actually put it zero zero zero, it's, uh, it would be stupid. It would be stupid. Truly, you ready? All right, this is the moment of truth. Damn! No way! Are you kidding they me, bro? Open like that? Oh yeah, baby, we're okay, in. Okay, okay. We're in. Oh my god. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I'm kind of scared, but we can't just open it like this. Yeah, yeah, no, no, we can't just open it like this. We don't know what the hell could be inside what if, of this. What if there's like some kind of tripwire inside of this briefcase that as soon as you crack open the lid, boom, it blows up? I mean, wouldn't that light our house on fire? And he wouldn't even have to do anything! I guess that's one way of doing it. Uh, what if it's like a glitter bomb? Oh, God! Huh? No, not a glitter bomb. Okay, do we have a fire extinguisher anywhere in the house? Ah, uh, fire extinguisher, fire extinguisher. Uh, there's Dr. Pepper right here! Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring, bring the doctor, bring the doctor. That could work, right? Bring the doctor, yeah. The doctor is always Be helping you in. Ready to pour at any given moment. I'm ready to pour. I'm on pour duty today, guys. Okay. Ready? Yeah, yeah. Alright. Okay, we gotta we gotta do a countdown. This is a big moment. It could it either is, be something really cool or something oh really freaking stupid, guys. Yeah, dude, this is kind of this is kind of making me antsy, bro. Um, yeah. You want to do the honors? I don't know, bro. Yo, you're looking kind of nervous. Put your hand down for a second. <laughs> um. Hold on. Yo, you I'm are nervous. nervous. I don't want to blow up, babe. Bro, your hands are that sweaty. Shut up. Okay. okay. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, it, just open it. Do the honors. Just count down. All right. Five. Five. Four. Three, two, one. Oh, shut up. What? It's empty? Wait. Wait. Oh, this just fell out. What is this? Whoa. A lighter? A lighter with Marilyn Monroe on it? What the hell? What the hell? That must get really hot. Th that's what I'm saying, bro. And it's like, it's like, look at the colors on it. Look. Oh, my God. It's all like oh, clown, clown colors. colors, dude. What is, wait, what is this? What is, does that say bomb? Bro. Oh my god. Shut the hell up, bro. He was Shut trying to blow us up. up. Yo, that looks this like is, a, it looks a like fight. a little clown stick of dynamite. Yeah, bro. How, we need to get rid of this. Dude, we, we do, can't like, have this in the house. Wait, here's what I don't understand, bro. If that was in the briefcase, how come it didn't blow up and we opened it up? I don't know, bro. Maybe we're like, we were supposed to light it and see what happens. Oh, he can't I, think we're that yeah, stupid. Yeah, he can't think we're that stupid Maybe. because we're not lighting this. Whatsoever. Maybe he rigged it up so that when we forced it open, it would light the lighter and light the firecracker. But I think because we decoded the code, it like diffused it. You know, that way he could get back into it without blowing himself up. You know what it is? I think it was literally meant for us to pry it open. Yeah, like, and like then it just blows up. Pry it open yeah. and then it goes off. Bro, he knows Ube Smash been smashing, bro. Yeah, bro, we been smashing. Oh my god, okay, well now we have a freaking lighter. We have a tiny little bomb. And we know that Inferno is coming to this house. What are we gonna do? I have no clue, bro. Yo, maybe we should think of like his weaknesses and strengths and like how we can get to him the best way possible to take him out the most efficient way, you know? Yeah. Because we've dealt with him a couple times in the past, right? So we should know how to take him down like successfully once again and just send him off to jail and hope he never freaking escapes. So we never have to do this ever again and have our house be at risk of getting freaking burnt down. Okay, but let me think. Look, he left this briefcase because he thought we were going to pry it open. Once we were prying it open, mm -hmm. it should have blown up. It should have blown up. So in his head, his plan was, he's gonna bring us the briefcase and it's gonna blow us up. So he must be in the area watching to see if we open the briefcase. No. And as of right now, no. he has no clue that we opened it and diffused it. So he must think that we're about to explode any moment now. Do you think he's waiting to see like his war unravel? Oh, what a hot, bro, think about it. Like he's, I mean, he's not creeping through the windows, but he may as well be, bro. Yeah, he, just, he might as well He wants be. to watch us blow up this whole briefcase. Like obviously this is like his master plan. Bro, and it's so smart too because he would not be getting his hands dirty. It would be an accident, somebody dropped yeah. it off. But do you have security cameras? So if we can grab that footage, we can literally send it to the feds and just get him sent off, bro. Yo, you're right. We can get the footage of him dropping off this briefcase and then show them that the briefcase had a bomb in it. They'll put two and two together, bro. And with him being on the freaking news and being a wanted fugitive at the moment on the run, we might just get some money out of this, bro. Yo, we right. There might even be a reward, That's bro. That's what I'm saying. There's usually bounties on guys like oh, this, bro. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yo, see if you can call it in and see if we can like tip them off and like get a reward out of this because yo, I don't know about you, but I could use a payday. Let's ring it, let's ring it. Okay. Um, Let me know what they say. 
Uh, yep. Yeah. The, sorry. Yes. Yes, I'm calling to uh, report a, a crime. Big crime. Big crime. H huge crime. Huge felon. Yeah. Felon. So old. Oh. Actually, matter of fact, we think we know who did it. Yep, yep, yep. Evidence? Yeah, evidence? We, have, we got so much evidence. Um, do you know a clown? Yeah, we got no, yeah, I'm not kidding. A clown, yes. A clown that goes by the name Inferno. Ah, it, it rings a bell now, huh? Ah, okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. Now look, we're the guys who've been bringing Inferno to jail for you guys because you can't do your freaking job. And now he's here at our house him, and he just tried to blow us up. No, I'm not kidding. He tried to... No! What? What Wait, is, what do you? What is? I'm yelling at you because you're not believing. You're joking. Just you're joking, up. bro. The freaking police line just hung up, bro. Why would they not believe us? They literally reported him missing from Clamp Prison. No. Yeah, it was on the freaking news. You said. Wait, maybe he, maybe he's working with the police. No way, bro. He would never work with the cops. They're his biggest enemy. Oh, who knows? Maybe that's how he escaped prison. He worked with the cops oh, to make them let him out of prison. God. You think he was working inside of the prison with like the guards to like sneak him out of there? Is that how he keeps escaping every single time? Oh, he must be. There's no way he can just dig holes through the walls, bro. He's got to be colluding with them. Yeah, bro. That's like his only option, I would think. Because like I said, I did some research on the jail that he was staying at. And this is a high level security prison, bro. They're literally outside for 30 minutes a day. 24 hours in the law for 30 minutes! Bro, that's the thing! On top of that, bro, the cops want us gone. Let's be real. How many times do we have the cops at this house picking up another felon? Every single day. So obviously the cops want to get rid of us. They're like, yo, get these kids off the street. We don't want to go answer their calls every freaking day. Bro, I don't get it though. I mean, we're literally doing their jobs for them, making their jobs easy as hell. They just have to show up here and take them out and bring them back. Like, how lazy can you freaking be, bro? Chill out, chill out, chill out. Did you see that? Chill out. What? 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 I literally saw something more. It's just literally right there. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. Um, yeah, yeah, close that thing. Close that thing. Close that thing. Yo, close that thing right go, now. Let's go. Let's go. Yo, we gotta take it somewhere safe, bro. He can't see us right now. Wait, okay, where is there no windows? Where is there no windows? Uh, the cause of the call, the patch. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just put it in there. Put it in there. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yo, yeah. yo, he might be here right now, bro. Hold on, hold on. You said he went to the side of the house over here. I've seen like a, a glimmer of orange just shoot beside the house. Saw a glimpse, bro. I don't see. Anything. Anything, bro? Nothing. Nothing. Maybe oh. the side of the house. I'm telling you, he was, he was probably creeping on us through the window, waiting to see if we blow up the briefcase. Bro, if he was doing that, he would see that we opened it successfully, which would literally ruin his entire plans, bro. Yeah, he's definitely not on observation mode anymore. He's on save the plan mode. Let's go in there and burn the house down ourselves. And knowing him, bro, he's a hothead. He's literally a hothead. Yo. This guy will literally do whatever it takes to take us out. That's what I'm saying. You just come inside. Just come inside. It's not safe out there, bro. He can be literally anywhere outside right now. But as long as we have these doors closed, we know he's not in here. Yo, make sure that door is locked, eh? Where the hell he could be going? Because, yo, if he just figured out that we didn't blow up the briefcase, then he knows that we're safe inside. He might think we have backup, so he's going to be preparing his own backup. You know? But who the hell is he gonna have for backup, bro? He literally broke out of prison. I don't see anybody working with him just because of how much of a liability he is, bro. You're right, bro. We might be able to take advantage of that. Maybe if he doesn't have any backup, it's just him and he's weak. Oh my god. Yeah, yo, I don't go, 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 go. Yo, hide, hide, hide. Cat, stay in that corner, bro. Stay. Do not move. Do not move. He's literally, he's literally at the freaking door. At the side. I swear, I swear. Now, okay, stay right here. Stay right here. Stay right here. I'm gonna see if I can find any weapons. Hold on. Yes, Alex, Alex, I got the weapon. Alex, I got a gun, I got a gun. <gasps> Alex? Uh, I don't think he's seen me yet. I'm trying to get the Alex. Yo, what the hell is that? Who picked me? Bro, I found this axe beside the toilet, but he literally walked right past me. Wait, Wait, why, why the hell was there an axe beside the toilet? I don't know. Why was there a briefcase in the front of the door? Fair yeah, enough. fair enough. That's what I thought. Now let's go get this guy, bro. Come on. All right, no need to catch an attitude. God damn. What the hell was that? It sounded like a walrus. Oh my God. Oh my God. Bro, Alex, what the hell do you think that could be, bro? That does not sound like Inferno. Let me see if I can sneak up on this guy. What's he doing? Burn. Burn. Burn? Oh my god, he's looking for something to burn our house down with, bro. He didn't even prepare. He didn't expect this to fail. Okay, we have to make sure he does not find the briefcase, bro. If he finds the briefcase, we're done for. 
I'm saying on super high alert. There's no way I'm letting this idiot kill me. That's what I'm saying, bro. We have to figure out how to take him down before he freaking finds something to blow us up with. Bro, he's literally playing with the chemicals over there, bro. Oh. That could there's enough chemicals over there to actually start a chemical fire. I know, but he's too stupid to figure out how to mix them together, bro. What the real threat here is the freaking kitchen, bro. The gas stove. Oh my god, bro. He's gonna literally just turn it on and start throwing things in the fire. Yeah. Oh, but there's the oven too and, oh, and the fireplace yeah. in the back. Bro, we're gonna screw up. Yeah, we're really screwed, bro. Yo, where is he? Yeah. Oh, oh. Right there, oh my god. Okay, he didn't go to the pantry, but we have to make sure he does not get even near it, bro. That's where the freaking briefcase uh, is. He's turning on the gas. He's turning on. He's turning on the gas stove. Um. Okay. Uh, yo, we need. If we're gonna do anything, we gotta do it now before he actually burns the sound stove. Uh, Achoo! Uh, Did he look? Uh, you're turning on gas holy. Bro, the, the, the tank he brought in. He brought in the cherry can. Oh my god. We have to get to it now. He has it with him. Bro, come on, come on, come on. Oh god. Bye bye. No, no, bye bye. Hey, hey, hey! Put your hands up. Yeah, yeah. Like on the ground. On the ground. Alex, turn on the frick. Turn off the freaking gas, bro. On the ground. No problem. Bro, this guy turned on the freaking fire. Bro, he could have burned us all down. He exploded us, bro! And he had a freaking cherry can right there. We would have been screwed! Alright, Inferno. What's your deal, huh? Uh, Why every time you break out of prison you want to burn us down, huh? Yeah, what did, we, what did we ever do to you, idiot? How about this? Tell me the name of the officers you've been working with. Maybe we won't turn you in, huh? Uh, wait, 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 where's he going? Wait, come back, come back, come back! Inferno! Come back, come back! Hey! Get! Where's he going? Whoa! You! What the hell was that? It didn't work! But where's. This was go, cool, bro! Before this idiot actually uses it on him! Oh my god! Yo! I thought he threw it! Go, 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 go! Bro, he's just, he's just walking for three minutes! Wait, 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 Hold on a second. What? Inferno doesn't know how to use an axe. No? No! He's an idiot! But maybe he learned a couple tricks in prison? In prison? Uh, ah! uh, wait, wait. You see, I told you, bro! That's, that's not how you use a, an axe! Yeah, he literally... Slice his own throat? What? No, 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 this can't be real. This can't be true. Hold on. Bro, he escaped out of prison three times to just come here and kill himself? Hold on, hold on. Let me see something. Bro, he's yeah, he's out. He's out. Bro, I get the feeling that these clowns are freaking immortal. Bro. Yeah. There's no way that he's not coming back to life. Maybe so we gotta freaking get rid of this body before he comes back to life, bro. We gotta grab that gas, pour it all over him, and just light him on fire. Light him on fire? If you light Inferno on fire, doesn't that kill him? I think that would bring him back to life, no? Oh my god, you're right, maybe. Then what should we do? Bro, honestly, that seems like our only option, though, so we might as well try and see what happens. Oh. Hey, wait, we can't do it inside? No, 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 we gotta do this no, outside. Okay, yo, okay, yo, yo, let me just end this video right here, and then we'll bring him outside. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a big thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe for more content like this. I'll see you guys in the next one. Please hey, stop offending me, cause I don't need a ratchet. But keep a stick on me in case we bout that action. Jump on this 223, we getting all this cash in. We bleeding for this shit, ain't running out of pain.